Some news from Israel. The number of abortions in the nation of Israel continues to decline dramatically, according to the Israeli Health Ministry. This is Javier Padilla, and welcome back to Family Life Update. The Israeli Central Bureau of Statistics, or CBS, has reported that there has been more than a 20% drop in abortions from 2000 to 2014. The report also noted that the percentage of pregnant women who appeal for an abortion is diminishing. In 2013, 9.6 out of every 1,000 pregnant women appealed for an abortion, down by 50% from 1988. In comparison, the U.S. rate is about 16 out of every 1,000. Abortion in Israel is legal with the approval of one of the nation's 41 pregnancy termination committees. Most requests are actually approved, especially if the woman is unmarried or younger than 17 or over 40 or if there is a high risk of birth defects or any health risk to the mother. The committee is so lax that only about 1% of requests for abortion are actually denied. Efrat Crib, CRIB, or Committee for the Rescue of Israel's Babies, is an Israeli pro-life organization based in Jerusalem that helps women in crisis pregnancies. It has 2,800 volunteers helping women decide to give life and even providing for them financially. Efrat says its efforts since 1977 have saved over 64,000 Jewish children. Not surprisingly, the pro-life organization is strongly opposed by many Israeli leaders who label such pro-life efforts as, quote-unquote, harassment. In January 2014, the Israeli Neset passed a reform to the National Health Coverage Law, guaranteeing free abortion procedures to any patient between the ages of 20 and 33, regardless of circumstance. Culturally, Jewish Israelis are very family-oriented, just like us here in the Philippines. Statistically, they tend to marry young, have more children, and divorce less frequently than their North American and even Western European neighbors. Jewish Israelis view childbearing as not only positive and desirable, but also as a distinctive ethnic, religious, and social calling. I myself have five children, eight, eight years old, six, four, two, and newborn. I would never have dreamed of aborting any one of them. And that, has, that really is the culture here in the Philippines as well. Though there are moves such as the RH law, which really pushes for the legalization of abortion. I hope we learn from Israel and some other countries that are becoming pro-life slowly, that we really need to fight this attack on the Filipino family and families around the world. Every life is precious. We need to protect and make sure that they have a good future. Thank you for joining us on Family Life Update. Continue to visit us every weekday and on, the, on our line through our website, www.familylifeupdate.com.